my channel, so I thought I would do a Fossil Friday from the field today. So this is my first field trip on my Masters, and I'm here at these beautiful chalk cliffs. So if you're from the UK, they might look familiar to you. So these are very similar to the White Cliffs of Dover. And in fact, if you look over this way, you can see the UK right in the distance, just there. So they're actually the UK cliffs and then just across the channel I'm here at the French cliffs. So I'm in, oh I'm going to pronounce this completely wrong, Cap, uh, Cap Longnes? Cap Longnes? So I thought I would just add a little bit in after my terrible attempt at pronouncing Cap Longnes that I can actually pronounce it now and I have learned and I apologise for my just complete incapability of pronouncing French words, but hopefully in a few months I'll get better. But yeah, I just thought I would just have a little break in this footage because that was an appalling attempt, Emma, but yeah, please forgive me. Anyway, let's get back on. <laughs> but they're the same as the rocks in England, they just kind of go across and I thought I'd show you guys some of the fossils you can find. So you can find corals, you can find ammonites, echinoids, but I haven't managed to find one of each, but I have of course managed to find an ammonite so this one here if you just have a look at the ammonite can you see it? um you can just see it here so you can see the lovely ribbing and it's preserved really lovely so this is only a fragment so i found this piece you can kind of see the outline of the chambers here very hard to see i'll try and get some better footage of it at home but um it's hard to find ammonites at this time of year because you need the kind of winter conditions to actually break open the rocks and reveal them so i got very lucky to actually find one but you can find some beautifully preserved corals so this one my friend actually found so this is kind of what you can find so i don't know if my camera will pick it up but it's been beautifully kind of preserved in almost like a pyrotized silver and you can really see the kind of striations there. It's a gorgeous piece. So they're the two fossils we found so far, but I thought I would bring you guys with me a little bit and just have a quick kind of in the field video. So I've made it back now and I thought I would film a little bit extra for you guys. I know I did just conclude the video, but we all know I love to kind of just add more bits in like this. So anyway, I thought I would tell you a bit more about the kind of history of these chalk cliffs at Cap I, I know I can pronounce it now, it's amazing. I don't know why I'm so incapable of pronouncing French words, but hopefully with time and after maybe living here for a few more months, I will manage to get it. But yeah, Cap hopefully that's correct. But yeah, I've, I've had a go, I've had a go. Anyway, these chalk cliffs, they were, when they were forming millions and millions of years ago, around 70 if you'd like to be precise, um, they were completely submerged underneath the sea. And they formed by lots of these tiny kind of skeletal fragments of coccoliths, which are a form of like tiny, tiny algae, would float down to the bottom of the seabed and they would form this kind of white clay mud kind of thing. And then over time, loads of, loads and loads of them, millions and millions of them, I should say, will accumulate. And that is what eventually forms the chalk cliffs that we see today. Now, these coccoliths, they're micro fossils. They are tiny, tiny. You cannot see them with the naked eye. So to put it in perspective, you need, you know, a couple hundred coccoliths piled up on one another or fragments of them to actually form half a millimeter of chalk. So these cliffs are over a hundred meters high. So you can imagine just how like long they took to form basically. And there's also other fossils within there. So you get some of the more macro fossils. So there are ammonites, corals, echinoids, that kind of thing that will also float down and accumulate within this kind of white mud. And um, then over millions of years, there's earth movements and these like cliffs are basically put above sea level. So they've moved above the kind of level of the ocean and that's why we can see them today. And then as erosion happens, etc we can keep finding these fossils on the beach because the sea keeps eroding them back. So that's how the fresh fossils kind of come out of the cliffs, if you like. But I thought I would explain a little bit about the chalk because I don't think I did when I was on the beach. But um, yeah, so that's just a little bit of background behind these fossils. I did also, I've got my lovely piece of ammonite to show you guys. And someone very kindly has already told me what ammonite this is. So this is what it looks like. According to my source, this is an Acanthosaurus. Again, I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong, so I'll write it on the screen as well. But um, yeah, one thing you'll get used to with me is that my pronunciation is 
in need of a lot of work. But anyway, this is a nice close-up of the piece. So it's just a nice fragment. The midsection is there, so if you look here, you can see the outer whirl here, then you can see the inner chambers here. So this is how I knew this ammonite was within the rock it was in, because it was in kind of a bigger boulder, because I could see these kind of almost like bubbles on the surface of the rock. They're not very obvious, but they're faintly there. And so I knew there was something in there. Um, obviously, if you see a cross-section of an ammonite, you also know it's not all there, but it was still fun to find a chunk. So maybe next week's Fossil Friday, I'll try and prep the middle of this. I'm going to try and prep it with a harder nail, but if that proves a bit too tricky, the university has very kindly let me use their air tools. So um, if it proves to need that, maybe I'll have a go on those. But um, I thought I would just give you a better view of it. But this is now the end of Fossil Friday, so I do hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll be back with more next week. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more and hopefully I'll see you next week.